after being here, after seeing the teams, how they are playing, there's a few things that I've noticed that are strengths and weaknesses for all of the teams. For example, Reborn. Team Reborn has been around the longest, originally named straight out of Agora. I casted their very first performance as a team and they were a complete dark horse. No one knew the players, no one knew the names, and they put on a very good performance and they ended up getting second place. They have a lot of synergy since they've been together for so long and they all focus the same target when it comes to team fights. They have a good in-game leader, they have a really strong carry player, NATO sick, that you gotta watch out for. So they've always had to remain core with Jay Leo Grande sort of being the shot caller and the captain. Jay Leo, he's phenomenal. His shot calls are very strong. He makes the right decisions at the right time and does lead his team to quite a few victories because of it. There's been a couple low spots for him, but they always bounce back. I think one of the weaknesses with Reborn is that they have been around for so long and they have always had a very similar drafting style and draft composition. They can be looked at, they can be figured out. Their early game is a little slower than it could be. I feel like they're pretty passive and they just wait till the game gets like mid late. Then they'll look for team fights, but really they don't play a very aggressive early, which is, I don't know, I think it isn't the best. They're well aware of that. They've told me themselves that they their early game is for the birds, really. They know. <laughs> Team Oxygen, they are all incredibly individually talented. They do tend to be seen as the class clowns of the Paragon scene. They do tend to joke around a lot, but I do think that that is a strength for them. It does help them with their synergy as a team. It makes them much closer. By far their biggest strength is their early game, their early game rotations, decision making, and their ability to just outplay whoever they are put in front of in the lane. The strength of Oxy is the farming game. They're considered the best farming team in the game. They really like their last hitting. They don't do very much on the map. If they are able to refine that a little bit, they'll definitely be a powerhouse, but teams I think will look to draft and try to outscale Oxygen before the game even starts. They are really going to have to buckle down this weekend and really play well and play to the players and, and the individuals that I know they can play to, and they'll be perfectly fine if they can pull that together. Biggest advantage, biggest strength of Toronto from my perspective is they are the most strategically diverse team. One of their main strengths would be their ability to really pull five-man rotations off exceptionally well. They do tend to group a lot during the game and go for main objectives that are very important. They're very versatile. They're not afraid to pull out some pocket heroes as well. Strengths lie in their jungler's ability to dictate the game. They are very calm under pressure, like even if they are playing from behind, um, they keep composure and keep going as if they can win the game and they don't give up. Their weaknesses most likely lie in their offlaner. They don't rotate as much as we do. He doesn't rotate out of his lane at any point in the game, so we can take advantage of that. As far as their drafts go, uh, have remained very predictable throughout the course of the North American and EU qualifiers. They stick to what they are comfortable with. Toronto are so comfortable with such a wider range of heroes that we may see some heroes played in positions that a lot of people won't expect, including the teams themselves. So that's, that's their biggest advantage. If Toronto can come together, they can get that out of the way, put any differences aside and just play, they're really gonna be a strong contender for taking the tournament. Think Twice, their story is very interesting. They did come together just before the qualifiers. That sort of made this unknown team familiar names, but that roster itself, no one really had any expectations, and they ended up winning over Toronto Esports, who were the favorites. I think that element of surprise is always a big advantage going into any tournament uh, of any competitive event. I think that they're very good at adapting to situations. Their adaptation skills are some of the best. They have a really strong jungler and a really strong shot caller. Uh, they'll do things that you don't expect them to do. I feel like they're very good players mechanically. Nerve is really the glue of the team. He really sets everything up from the jungle part. I think Tok is a really good offlaner as well. Their team synergy may not be as strong as a team like Reborn, for example, who have been together for many, many, many months. They're not really a team sometimes. Uh, when they fall behind, they tend to just fall apart. They play well together as a team, so that might be a little bit of a weakness for them going into the tournament this weekend. So I feel like the synergy might not be there as with other teams, but it must be there if they got here to the top four.